In this video, we will learn how to create a managed node group. As you can see in the previous video, we have created the EKS cluster. And once you have the cluster created successfully, the next step is you need to create a compute capacity so that you can deploy your workloads there. So for that, you have two options, manage node group and target profile. So in this video, we will be exploring the manage node group option. So for that, if you go to your cluster and click on compute, you will see there is an option called node groups. So here you will create, you will click on add node group and put the name here. So it could be anything. And now it needs a node IM role that will be used by the nodes. And again, it says that it, it allows you to create a recommended role. So if you click on this, click and it automatically, because your all managed node groups means you are creating the EC2 instances. So use case is EC2. And if you click on next, you will get all the permissions selected. We'll see what all permission it has selected and you'll put the name so it's eks ec2 and here you can see the trust policy is ec2 and the policy it needs container registry read only permission worker node policy and cni policy so this is all aws managed policy and when you click on create recommended role aws automatically provides that these three policies are required based on your need you can create or you can add the policy in this role based on your application node so click on create role so now if i click on sir refresh you'll see i get this option eks ec2 so we have an option to use the launch template also but we are going without that option for now and click on next and here you provide the instance type details so we can go with the amazon linux 2023 which is the newest one capacity type you have an option to go with on demand and spot we'll go with on demand and instance type so you can search whichever instance type is required for your application you will have to select that specific instance type and disk size node group scaling configuration so you can change it so i'm just going with the one one but here you can provide if you have a big application and if you need 10 nodes, 5 nodes, 6 nodes, it all depends on the architecture of your application. Because based on that, it, it is highly available. It will deploy your pods in multiple nodes. So there is no, uh, there, there would be no application downtime if any of the node breaks or something happened to the node. And here you will see node group update configuration also. So you have an option to provide enter a number like whenever the update happens for the node. So how many nodes can be down or, or updated at a particular time. So you have that particular configurations to provide. In this example, it does not apply because I just have one node only. So I'm not doing this auto repair and then just click on next. And here you again need to provide the subnets. And all the EC2 instances will be in the private subnet because your application always runs in the private subnet only and you access it through load balancer. And we really don't need to have remote access to these nodes. So you have an option to configure that, but this is what the automation is, right? You really don't need to log into any of your EC2 instances. So we don't select that option and click on next and here you will have all the details and just click on create so this step will also take several minutes before you will see that it is available now you can see that your node group is created successfully you will see the status as active and you can see that it has created one ec2 instance so even if you go to your ec2 instance you should be able to see that this EC2 instance is created successfully. So here you can see it has created this particular instance and you will not have an option to connect to this instance because we have not enabled the SSH setup.
and here you will see all it is using the AMI of the Amazon EKS one it is Amazon EKS optimized AMIs and I think you will get all the tags also because it was created by the EKS so you will have all the tags that gets attached in an automated way for all the EC2 instances which are managed by EKS now if you go to your EKS cluster and go to resources tab and under that pods you will see it has created lot of pods based on your add-ons that we have added while creating an EKS cluster and if we go to any of them you will see their status has changed to running previously they were not able to launch because there was no node but now you can see that all your pods are in running state and if you see in the event section this is basically kubernetes events that you can see it on aws console also here you will see that no nodes available to schedule pods and after that it was successfully able to pull the image and create the containers